Now you see, I really wasn't gonna speak on this, but I'm seeing all this shit and I see hustle you tweaking on Debo and going all crazy and yo, this bitch ass nigga this and this and that. Like, yo, my thing about it is this, not rock with hustle heavy. Like everyone's pointing fingers, oh, is this person for, is that person for? I think all three of them played a part in this. I don't know, I don't know why we minimizing and maximizing whose fault it is. Like everybody played the part, bro. Like hustle from the door. If you niggas agreed on one round in five minutes, what in the fuck are you asking Debo? You want me rock for? Like why even asking that? If you know it's five minutes, what are you asking the rock for? Why not just up the time limit and the contract? If you did that, th there would have been no problem. But instead, you're calling Debo behind Twerk's back, behind the scenes, and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna let you rock, and you spent your bars at him, and this, that, and that. Y'all niggas is doing too much. It was one round, five minutes. All that extra talking is the reason why the battle turned out the way it turned out. Because then you put Debo in the middle. I think Debo would have said anything to make that battle happen. I think if, if Hustle was like, you gotta pay me, etc., uh, wipe my ass whenever I got diarrhea, play with my clit, I think if Hustle said all that, I think would have been like, okay. He would have been like, okay, he wanted the battle that bad. It's Queen of the Rings. It's a big card right here. They haven't had a big card in Mad Long. At the return of Hustle, we ain't seen her in years. He wanted this battle. Is it Queen of the Ring versus URL like how it used to be? It's a, a URL star. Why would he not want this battle? He would have said yes, I think, to damn near anything Hustle said at that point. You know what I'm saying? Debo problem is he ain't know how to do that joint with Twerk. And another thing that no one's even talking about, like Hustle, my nigga, Debo had to pay money out of his pocket for the venue to stay open longer because you ain't show up till 1030. Like you bugging, bro. You bugging. Because in all reality, if the league, if, if the, the venue said no to Debo and didn't take his bread, the battle wouldn't have happened, period. And that would have been your fault. So you really can't get too crazy. You actually, you lucked up somewhat. You lucked up that this nigga paid that extra bread. Because the battle wouldn't have went down and it would have been your fault. I don't see how hard it is for y'all niggas to get to the venue on time. Like, that don't even make no fuck. Hey, bro, if there's even a possibility that your battle may be happening, like, you should be there already. Don't you want to get there and see what the room is like? Feel the energy, say what's up, talk to a... Like, don't you want to already do that? Who wants to just rush in late and get right on stage? Like, you bugging doing that, bro. And no one's really talking about that part. We just had Debo on yesterday and he's like, like we, no one's talking about that. The battle wouldn't have happened, period, if Debo didn't pay extra bread. And that's just what it is. Debo also tried to give Twerk extra extra bread to let Hustle battle longer. Like, all this to oblige Hustle rapping longer than five minutes. That should just put it in the contract. Why would Twerk say, yeah, the day of the battle? Oh, okay, I'll take some money so we can go longer. Like, you ain't giving no time to write nothing. Like, let's be serious. So it's like, I feel like Debo wasn't, it looks like Debo and Twerk was trying to set, I mean, Debo and Hustle were trying to set Twerk up, but I don't really think that's what was going on, B. I think Debo was just like, whatever. You know, Debo and Hustle be going back and forth. It be, you can't control Hustle's mouth. You know what I'm saying? You you can't, you can't mute Hustle. You can't dumb her shit down. She's going to talk crazy. She's going to get reckless. And he knows that. So I think that nigga was on his tippy toes this whole goddamn time. He knew that using her name would bring her back, but I don't think he intentionally said, yeah, Rap for Mad Long, then then be like, yeah, I'ma cut her off to show her. Like, I don't think that the last thing this nigga really want is to be put in a negative light. So I don't think the nigga did some bullshit, really. I think he was crossing his fingers, hoping, like, all right, maybe Twerk. You know what I'm saying? Me and Twerk got a decent rapport. We see each other all the time at the events. He won't get too crazy, and he didn't know that Twerk was gonna work. Was gonna walk off. The reason why I blame Twerk for walking off, I'm be real with you. Now, when he did it in the other battle, I I didn't, I didn't blame the nigga. I felt like Twerk was right for walking off. If in a contract, if he signed for five minutes and Hustle's going over five minutes, it's wild because you don't want ballots to start stopping it, their opponents for real. Like, you don't, that's going to be a problem. Like, we should be eliminating problems as we see them happening. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a problem. Niggas just walking off on battles. Niggas just cutting time on their opponents. That's going to be a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? But my thing about twerk is this number one, you signed for five minutes, you didn't even go five minutes. You went like three and some change, four minutes. You didn't even have five minutes in material number one. Then number two, to be real true, not could be it, it could be biased. I don't care. Like you fucked up so many battles. How do you really get an attitude when something doesn't go your way? Like, bro, you've no show damn near more battles than some of these battles have had in their careers. Like, come on, my nigga. This battle wasn't about you right here. This is about Queen of the Ring coming back. 
and about hustle coming back versus twerk a name on URL. You took that as a as a nah fuck it. I'ma fuck the whole battle. I'm just gonna walk away type shit. Y'all niggas be bugging because when you walk off from a battle, that's a whack battle for us. Y'all only getting paid because y'all supposed to be putting on for us, giving us something to watch. We could we watch two years down the line. We can't do that if you're just gonna walk off on the battle. That's bad. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That's crazy. Like niggas gotta get this shit together. All these communication problems the day of the battle is fucking stupid. Y'all all got each other's phone number. Like, what the fuck, bro? So now Hustle will turn the Queen of the Ring is ruined. And she's also going off on Debo again. And now she's saying she's never coming back to Queen of the Ring. All over again. All over again. We had her back for literally fucking 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And she's going all over again. This shit is fucking stupid, bro. I like, I'm going to be real with you. I liked it better when the leads controlled shit, bro. Like, seriously, ever since the battle started, oh, I know my worth. And, and well... You, 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 you fucking make your price super high So a nigga can't even book you for three rounds Now we stuck with this corny ass one round shit Don't nobody want to see no fucking one round battles Unless you choke prone and shit Then it's like okay we'll just take one round But that's not something the fans are gonna try to get used to bro. Like some of y'all niggas be bugging the fuck out And then y'all price be so high I know my worth I know my worth But how about the fire material Because a lot of you niggas don't be having fire or material bro. A lot of y'all prices Yo bro. Some of these niggas' prices be like fucking Like 15, 20 times Niggas like Danny Myers and shit And they will not beat this nigga if they really battled They won't And they'll fucking try And I don't even just mean Danny I'm like Big Cannon Some of these niggas be getting paid Some of these niggas be getting paid Racks upon racks And dead ass cannot beat Some of these mid-tier or up-and-coming names, bruh I think that shit kind of wild, bro, because y'all don't even be giving us fire performances. A lot of y'all be getting booked because of your name, bro. And I've been saying that shit. It, it just keeps showing. It, oh, man, I don't know, bro. This shit kind of wild, if you ask me. Let me know. What do y'all think about the battle and the shit? Y'all think it's twerk for? I don't think it's his fault, but I do feel like... It's like the boy who cried wolf, my nigga. Like, you fucked up so many battles. I don't even care. I don't want to hear nothing. It's just like, like, when the fuck did you become Mr. Professional? And then you didn't go to five... You know what I'm saying? But it's really, when you really look at it, you can't get that mad at the nigga. I'm looking at this past battles collectively. Individually, I can't get that mad at this nigga. It's the same thing as before. But at the same time, it's not like you're the best businessman, my nigga. You're not. So it was like, but hustle, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm lost. You're going to let me rock. I'm kind of lost at that shit. But you're, I, I get you want to win on your comeback. You want to have a good performance. But like, all of this shit really could have been prevented if y'all niggas just up the fucking time limit. And if y'all niggas' prices was too goddamn hot, like, he wound up spending extra money anyway Just for the venue to stay on Like, I don't know, man This shit is wild, bro But besides that, Queen of the Ring had a good event But god damn, the main event 40 and Couture was alright, but it was dope But the main We wanted to see Hustle come back I know I did So I'm kind of pissed Let me know what y'all think, man I, Like, let's just stick to the fucking time limits, bro How hard is that shit? Okay, I'm gonna write five minutes Alright, I'm gonna write five minutes That's it why are we going six, seven, eight, and not like? What are you talking about? Why would they let that happen? Why? Of course he's not going to say no. How many niggas is going to really stand and let that happen? Let's be serious. They're not going to let you go two, three, four minutes longer, bro. I don't know, man. This shit is kind of wild, bro. Hey, from the fuck up, let me know what you think. One.